16 people who died in a crash between a taxi and a truck at Leofontaine outside Khroblasdal in Limpopo last Friday will be buried in Khroblasdal today. The service will be held at Tafelkop Stadium. Seven learners from Dominique Primary School are amongst those being buried today. Let's cross to our reporter in Khroblasdal, Mathaku Komani. Mathaku, a very good morning to you. Set the scene for us of what we can expect today. Yes, uh, good morning to you indeed, uh, Lebo and the viewers at home. We are here at the Tafelkop uh, Stadium. This is just outside of Problos Dal and uh, an area called Mudetema. I'm just going to step out of shot there and just give you an idea of what um, is happening here. We are at the Tafelkop Stadium where you can see um, the coffins that are here. It is a mass funeral. You did count um, 16 that passed away. I think I counted about eight uh, coffins since we got here. These are the people people that are, you know, the families that have agreed to the mass funeral. I also understand in uh, my, my conversations with the local chief here that some families opted uh, to bury uh, closer, you know, faster. In terms of um, the various traditional uh, beliefs that people have in the area, some uh, bury as soon as possible. I uh, understand that there were some funerals during the course of the week. Other family members are obviously not opting to come and be part of the mass funeral. A packed uh, Dafulkop Stadium just um, there's about one, two, three tents, as well as the grandstands which are behind me. Um, as Llewellyn is just showing you, this, these are the scenes that I hear. Um, you know, quite sad, some of these children going to school. We did hear, you know, the local chief saying that such a sad, sad um, event that took place here within the area, saying that uh, a lot of parents expect their children to come back from school, you know, to go on and become somebody. That's why they were sending them um, to a school which is outside of the village, a, a uh, private school here um, because they wanted them to become you know uh good people in society, but not only their productive citizens as well, and I suppose achieve the very best that they can in terms of their educational pursuits level, but um, I, I see that we also have the local mayor, he's just taken up the podium as well. Quite a lot of politicians, I understand that the Skukuna district mayor is also part of um, this function as well as various MECs in the province were also told that uh, the premier was also going to be part of uh, the proceedings here. In fact, I think uh, quite a lot of politicians also and um, local chiefs as well that are part of uh, this particular funeral here. Um, you know, something that um, they're saying that we're going to look into the roads. But I suppose we're also waiting for those investigations that will come uh, in terms of what is normal uh, when there has been an accident uh, that has taken place on um, the local roads level. Mm -hmm. The families that have decided to not be part of the mass funeral, what do we know about them? Level in terms of, um, you know, some families that chose not to be part of this, they have already buried. I know that it's, it, it's custom in some cultures uh, from around here uh, that they bury as, depending also on the age of, of, of the person. Some people believe in burying within three days. So this is what the, you know, the local chief had told me is that some people, um, they, they perform or they observe certain burial rites uh, that uh, in terms of uh, the time frame within which you should be buried. Uh, they, they've decided to obviously do that and respect their own cultures, hence they are not uh, part of this particular, uh, you know, this particular mass funeral that is happening here at the Tafel Cop Stadium. So that, that's what that is, the word that I've been, I've give, I've, the conversation rather that I've had uh, with the local travel authority here that told us no, some, they have been funerals during the course of the week. Um, so th that's what I understand in terms of the families that have opted not to be uh, a part of this. All right. Masako Komani, thank you so much for talking to us. We'll let you get back to the funeral. That was our reporter, Masako Komani, in Khroblesdal, giving us an update on those 16 victims that died in that accident.